Hey, I'm here with my pocket chip and I'll show you how to install and play your favorite DOS games on it. DOS is the operating system for IBM PC compatible personal computers from the 80s and the early 90s. Most of the games from this period did not require a mouse, so their gameplay is appropriate for pocket chip. I'll show you how to play games like Prince of Persia, Golden Axe and Wolfenstein 3D. The exact steps are described in my personal blog. Please follow the link in the description of the video to see the details. This tutorial requires typing commands in a terminal, which could be annoying. Alternatively, if you are an advanced user, you can enable SSH, log in remotely to pocket chip and just copy and paste the commands. As usual, the first step is to connect pocket chip to the Wi-Fi and to open a terminal. Type sudo apt get update to refresh the package list. After that, you need to install DOS emulator for Linux. To get it, type sudo apt get install DOS box. Create a directory to hold DOS applications and games by typing mkdir DOS slash c. You need to configure DOS box for optimal performance. The easiest way to do it is to back up the config file and to replace it by downloading my configurations using wget. Have a look at the URL from the description of the video. Now comes the most important steps for all gamers. Find installation files of your favorite games and download them in directory dos c. I'm going to download and unzip Prince of Persia, Golden Axe and Wolfenstein 3D. If you're interested in the same games, just follow the instructions from the article in my blog. Type DOSBox to launch the DOS emulator on Pocket Chip. Thanks to the configuration that I have provided, you're ready to go. Even sound is working, so attach a headset. The first demo is with Prince of Persia. It is a classical game from 1990. There are several newer editions and even a movie, but in my personal opinion, none of them is as good as the first version. I bet you know the story. The player is a prince and as in the fairy tales, he has to save the princess. Beware that you have only 60 minutes. Move and jump with the arrows, use shift to fight and to walk slowly. Press Ctrl plus Q to exit the game. The second demo is Golden Axe. This game was made by Sega and it even allows several gamers to play it on a single computer. Set the controls for player 1 to keyboard. After that, select your preferred character. You can choose between a man, a woman and a dwarf. In this configuration of the controls, I have to move with keys W, A, D and Z. Key S is for attack. I have to press tap to jump and right shift to use the magic. For a dessert, I'm keeping another awesome game from the 90s. Far before Crisis, Quake, Half-Life and even Doom, another first-person shooter existed. It was called Wolfenstein 3D. This is the ancestor of all modern first-person shooter games. The game is developed by the American company ID Software and the legendary developers John Romero and John Carmack. A few years later, the same company created Doom and Quake. ID Software is also known as an early pioneer in the Linux gaming market. 
Wolfenstein 3D is divided into several episodes. The character of the player is called BJ and his mission is to destroy the Nazi regime. It is not an easy task, so prepare for hard battles. Depending on your gaming skills, you can select the difficulty. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that I'm not good at playing games, so I selected the easiest option. The gameplay is perfect for a wearable device with a hardware keyboard like Pocket Chip. As you can see, Wolfenstein 3D is running nice and smoothly. Use the arrows to move, space to open doors and control to shoot at the enemies and their dogs. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a look at my previous videos about Pocket Chip or Raspberry Pi.